Hey, GitLens actually just shipped with a brand new version. And in it, we shipped some great new features. One of the first ones you might notice is the changes to the home view. So if we look at it, in the home view, we have some UX, UI improvements. We have some integrations and the account bar and some other stuff to it. And realistically, we had some very specific goals. Number one, we wanted the home view to be able to tell you what you're actively working on right now, what you need to work on next, and what you've worked on recently. So let's take a look at that. As we go over and look at it, we can see that, number one, we've got our walkthrough, so you can make sure that you've actually learned all the cool new features. We can close that for now. We've got some status about, you know, what integrations you have set up right here at the top. First and foremost, your account stuff is right here within this section, so you don't have to, like, go searching for it down at the bottom. And we kind of just cleaned up a lot of the real estate. So some other stuff you might recognize is, yeah, this is what we're currently working on. We have a new branch in which we've done some stuff. It's three months old. And, oh, we actually have some uh, merge conflicts as well, which can be, you know, something we should be aware of as soon as possible. What we can see next is, well, yeah, maybe I have some other projects to work on next. We have some that require my review. We have one that can be merged. And we have three others where maybe someone made a comment and I have to do some follow-up. So right there, we can see what our next task should be after I maybe publish this branch. And then beyond that, I don't have any other stuff in my recent right now, but this is where your previous tasks, issues, and pull requests might be listed to show you just what you've done in the past so you can maybe have a little bit of context on you know, some of that if someone asks in a meeting. So I hope you like the new home view. If you want to like revert it back, you can actually use this button here at the top. You could also give us some feedback if there's things that you want to see better. And, uh, you know, I'd like to hear a little bit more about you. So, you know, maybe head to our homepage, uh, you know, our walkthrough, or maybe just our help center and uh, give us some feedback as you see fit. Thanks.